Alleged Russian hacking is again hitting the headlines with a lot of coverage claiming that Kremlin-linked hackers have been trying to sow divisions in the Middle East by planting fake articles in the Qatari media. Jacqueline Vuga has the story. Long-running tensions in the Middle East have seen Saudi Arabia and its neighbors cut ties with Qatar. Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Egypt and the UAE have all cut diplomatic ties with Qatar. Here are the options for this latest fallout. So among other things, we're hearing that these five countries are saying Qatar is too extremist, that, it, that it's been sponsoring terrorism. Terrorism? Check. Qatar shares uh, a large natural gas field with Iran. I believe it's the biggest in uh, the region, if not the world. States that don't like Iran saying Qatar is wrong for having ties with Iran. Check. Cornelia, Dominic Wankhorn pointing out there Donald Trump almost uh, taking credit for that. Is it any coincidence that this blockade and this dropping of diplomatic ties comes only a matter of days after he visited Saudi Arabia? And Donald Trump's foreign policies are involved as well, which brings up another issue. Russian hackers were behind a cyber breach against Qatar's state news agency. The hackers planted a false news report friendly to Iran and critical of President Donald Trump. Ah, uh, here we go. Russian hackers. Check. According to CNN, Russian hackers planted a fake news report on Qatar's state news agency in an effort to cause rifts between the U.S. and its allies. And this spiraled into more accusations based on unnamed sources and little to no evidence. Russia's foreign minister dismissed the claims and slammed the news outlet. CNN, like other media outlets, which don't really deserve to be called mass media, are a means of disinformation. They're always waiting for some stinker of a story or scandal to automatically blame it without any evidence on Russia. Russian hackers or somebody else connected to the Russian Federation the finger of blame is constantly pointed at Russia, and sometimes it's just outrageous. Take, for example, this interview with former director of national intelligence, James Clapper. The historical practices of the Russians, who are uh, typically uh, almost uh, genetically driven to co-opt, um, penetrate. At this point, Moscow has been singled out so often, the idea that Russia is a threat may have become a part of the media's DNA. So much of their reporting is anonymous sources. So much of their reporting subsequently turns out to be wrong. Um, and, you know, so much obvious evidence is out there that so far we've seen no evidence of actual collusion. This is almost becoming comical. Anyth anytime something happens that doesn't comport with what the deep state wants you to believe, the answer is, of course, the Russians hacked it.